Cyclops. I made him a convertible. What happened isn't his fault. Wolverine! It's not your fault either. Hi everyone, welcome to another Gospel X, the Gospel according to uh, the X-Men. My name is Jonathan, here's my friend Henry. The for Friday, February the 2nd, 2018. So Henry, why did you choose this scene? Well, you know, this was a very interesting scene because when it happened, um, it kind of showed us a little bit about the decision-making process that had to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, in the scene, we have Cyclops who decided to sacrifice Morph and Beast in order to save the rest. Uh, whereas Wolverine, he wanted to go and make sure that everyone gets out alive. Mm -hmm. and he wasn't willing to sacrifice anyone at all. And it just goes to show how hard the decision-making process is and how to frame, how hard it is to frame what is it, what is the right decision and what is the wrong decision. And how can we, what can we, how can we determine what is right and what is wrong? Right. So you chose this a scene because it's just typically, uh, it gives an example of just decision making. Yeah, exactly. Like how do we make decision the right making. decision? Yeah, yeah. Right? Okay. So what do you think then? <laughs> Who made the right decision? Cyclops or Wolverine? Okay. In my opinion, if you look at the scene, you know, Morph went down, Beast went down, Sentinels were coming. You don't know when they're gonna stop. You know everyone's getting hit. They're all gonna die. You're losing. You're losing. Four on two. <laughs> yep. You you have to sacrifice the people that are already down, and you gotta save what you can. Okay. So in my opinion, Cyclops definitely made the right decision because if he didn't make the decision that he did, they would all get wiped out. They all get captured. Then the, then the show ends, and then we don't need to. Do, to go and do an X-Men series anymore. <laughs> right. Well, in my opinion, I disagree with you. I think uh, Cyclops made the wrong decision, and I think uh, Wolverine was right to actually stay behind and uh, try to save them. 
because I thought that to me uh, Cyclops was too presumptuous and uh, assumed that it was all of a lost cause without really knowing what potential Wolverine could have. Because for the viewers out there, we all know that Wolverine could heal himself quickly. He could actually go in there and he might be able to save those two, right? But whether he was able to or not, I actually uh, agree with Wolverine that uh, no matter what, uh, maybe he's a Christian too, but as a Christian opinion, right? We are good, uh, Christians are called to sacrifice themselves to, for the love of others, right? In order to love, we call this agape love, where we're supposed to sacrifice ourselves for to love others, regardless of the possible outcome. And hence, uh, in our decision making and in Wolverine's decision making, I agree with Wolverine, where we should actually try our best to uh, save others by sacrificing ourselves, regardless of the outcome, because only God knows the outcome, right? And so for us in our decision making, we're supposed to use that ultimate rule of thumb of loving God and loving our neighbor sacrificially, regardless of the outcome, regardless of how much it will cost us, regardless of how much it will cost everybody else, we have to do it. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Well, I, I always feel like, you know, you can, you can use those kind of, um, this kind of idealism, you know, in kind of, uh, as like your moral base, you know, in a perfect world, yeah, you could go and do that. But let's just go back to the scene, right? Like, he's gonna lose, for sure. Like, what if you know for sure, for sure, you're gonna die, you're gonna, you, it's not a presumption, okay? Like, it's a for sure thing. Like, there's a train, it's on a track, it's coming towards you, yeah. and you're not moving the train, there's only one outcome, right? Like, are you gonna, and there's a bunch of people behind you, do you stand in front of the train and try to push it out of the way? Or do you just jump out and save yourself, right? Well, that, that example is not, uh, also not realistic. I, I know, but I know. I think uh, still the ultimate rule of thumb uh, for all of us is that uh, we really don't know. Like, mm -hmm. when you, like, that's the problem with utilitarianism, is that it assumes that we do know what's good for us. But unfortunately, sometimes when we define our own good and we try to impose it on others, right, it might not be, we might not be right. Right, and we saw that in Cyclops and Wolverine. Cyclops has said, "It is good. My way is the better. It's good." Wolverine says, "No, my way is good." Well, there you go. Utilitarianism is thrown out of the window. Right. What we need to do is uh, just focus on what is at stake. Right, and that stake is we're not loving people. Then we're not, like what's at stake is we're not sacrificially loving people if we mm -hmm. do that, and we just trust God because I said um, there was one twentieth. Uh, Wait, no, sorry, 19th century <laughs> reverend who said that, you know what, if we, as long as we do the will of God, which is loving our neighbor, actually, at the ultimate end, it is for everyone's good. We don't know what it looks like, but it is for everyone's good. It is actually for a utilitarian cause, but we just can't define it. Mm. It's, because, so do the will of God, which is loving uh, people sacrificially. Ultimately, maybe we don't see it, maybe it's not the way we see it, and how, or how the way we define good, but God ultimately will be saying, no, I w it will benefit everyone. And that's it. Mm -hmm. So I guess that, in the end, the best decision, the best decision Cyclops could have made would be to just go and try his absolute best to save everybody he could, and if he and needed to sacrifice himself to do it, then that's what he should have done. That's right. And that would make a great episode, wouldn't it? <laughs> because then it would, uh, we would have a new leader of X-Men yes. and they would be competing in that whatever bio, whatever war dome that they have. So the sorry, Cyclops fans, okay? <laughs> You're not important anymore. Yeah. Um, but yeah. All right. So that's it for another Gospel X uh, episode. Uh, again, my name is Jonathan. This is Henry. Till next week. Uh, we hope that you have a blessed weekend and uh, we'll see you again on our next episode as we go into episode 3 of the X-Men.